Student friends, in yesterday's lecture, we have associated with the types of antenna where we have studied the half wave dipole antenna. We studied that it has a low gain and it has less directionality. But it is going to act as an antenna to transmit the <laughs> signal <coughs> as well as to receive the signal. We have studied the pattern of the same antenna. We studied the characteristics of the half wave dipole antenna how it is going to be converted into folded dipole antenna. Student friends, if we want to increase the directionality and also the directive gain of the half wave dipole antenna for which it is not so sufficient, then a new antenna could be designed. <coughs> and that new antenna is the combination of a half wave dipole, director and reflector. When we combine dipole, director and reflector, the resulting new antenna which have much directionality and also the high directive gain that antenna is known as the Yagi antenna. Friends, today we are going to discuss little bit about the Yagi antenna. The gain and directivity of half wave dipole antenna can be increased by addition of a reflector and one or more director. What are these reflector and director? These are also the conducting metal rods. And the combination of all these three elements, namely dipole, the reflector and the director. <coughs> Directional antenna is going to be resulting. That antenna is called as the Yagi antenna. A reflector gives unidirectional characteristics to the dipole antenna. The role of a reflector is to provide unidirectional characteristics to the half wave dipole antenna. The arrangement of director, reflector and dipole shows the structure of the Yagi antenna. Yagi antenna is also called as Udi antenna. If the spacing of parasitic aerial is less than lambda by 4, then the directivity is going to be increased. Spacing of aerial means the separation between director dipole and reflector dipole. That is aerial separation. <coughs> if that aerial separation is lambda by 4, lambda is the wavelength of wave which is being transmitted or which is going to be gates interrupted. If that spatial distance is lambda by 4, then directivity is going to be increased. Here the radiation pattern from parasitic aerial is not exactly in phase or out of phase from the proper broadside array. In the Aggie antenna, the height of reflector or length of reflector 
is 5% to 15% more than that of height of or length of dipole. And that of height of directors are 5% to 50%, 15% less than that of the length of the dipole. <coughs> the spacing between a reflector and director is 0.10 times lambda or 2.25 times lambda. In between that, the spacing between a reflector and dipole is going to be required to be managed. The directors and dipoles are spaced having the distance between them is 0.10 times lambda and 0.15 times lambda. So these are represented in this particular figure. If you look to this particular figure, so this is a feeder or dipole we can call it as which you already studied. <coughs> Here is a reflector which is going to provide the unidirectional characteristics to the antenna. The spacing between reflector and director is 0.10 times lambda to 2.15 times lambda depends upon need of directivity. <coughs> and the height of the reflector is 5% to 15% more than that of the height of the dipole. This is aerially going to be gets managed. It is managed in a space <coughs> where lambda plays a very vital role. The distance between this dipole and the director is point 0.10 times lambda to 0.15 times lambda whereas height of these directors are less than 5% to 15% the height of or length of the dipole. Thus this combination of a reflector, dipole or directors forms the structure associated with the Yagi antenna. It is also called as the Woody antenna. Friends, it has a radiation pattern represented in this particular figure. <coughs> so this is the directional motion of the radiation of the wave from Yagi antenna which consists of intensity distribution of the electromagnetic radiation in the form of the main lobe which is represented here it is called as the major lobe associated with some side lobes these you can call it as these are the minor lobes and this one is the back lobe which is going to have lies behind the main lobe or major lobe. This radiation pattern subtends the particular angle that solid angle we can call it as it is the beam width where the maximum magnetic electromagnetic field strength falls by 0.707 times <coughs> for that associated value. So that is called as the beam width. Within that particular beam width, it transmits the signals most satisfactorily or receive the signal which is propagating towards itself and it is provided to that of receiving destination. 
such a antenna we can call it as it is the AG antenna if suppose <coughs> <coughs> if suppose the combination of these director reflector and dipole are not sufficient to produce the required gain and directionality then such a one more antenna is connected in front of this so that will increase again the gain as well as the directionality much more that antenna we can call it as it is a super gain antenna friends these antenna were used for the television set as a receiving antenna in the five to ten years back nowadays no antennas are going to of such antennas are you being used as a receiving antenna because <coughs> <coughs> these antennas are replaced by the dish antenna the concept of dish antenna arises provided if suppose the super gain antenna also doesn't provides the much more gain then the people were using the <coughs> <coughs> aluminum small dish is placed over the feeder point of the dipole so that will increase again the directionality as well as the gain of antenna this aspect of dish antenna providing along with the ag antenna improves the gain of ag antenna as well as the directionality furthermore this entire antenna is replaced only by means of an a parabolic antenna that is known as the dish antenna presently which we are using friends such a antenna we can call it as it is the yagi antenna or it is called as the udi antenna in yagi antenna <coughs> a reflector is 5% to 15% longer and directors is 5% to 15% shorter than the half wave dipole feeder the spacing between reflector and dipole is 0.10 times lambda and 2.25 times lambda whereas the director to dipole spacing is 0.10 times lambda and 0.15 times lambda the radiation pattern of lambda by 2 antenna with reflector r in equilateral plane binding director directionality directivity increases this can be further increased by adding more directors if number of directors are increased it will increases the directivity more and more <coughs> with unidirectional radiation pattern has a moderate gain of 70 to 7 decibel it is used as high frequency transmitting as well as receiving antenna due to folded dipole with one or more other antenna are called as super gain antenna it has a good gain and bandwidth per unit area of the array the directivity and gain can also be increased by placing aluminum small dish at the feeder point on the yagi antenna so this trial and error method of using the small dish at the feeder point of the half wave dipole on the yagi antenna <coughs> is the basic aspect of present is 
existing dish antenna or parabolic antenna friends this antenna was used priorly in the television signal communication as a receiving antenna where low power television transmission centers were existing as the high power transmission television transmission centers are came in force naturally these antennas were replaced by means of an a dish antenna or parabolic antenna which were directly tuned almost all to the transmitting stations or tuned to the satellite stations from where the signal is received or these are connected by means of an a cable television systems so friends this much what you have to remember about the yagi antenna which were primarily used for the television communication the rest will see in the next time